Today's project is an LED desk lamp. I'm Lynn, and this is the Darwin Orbit Channel. So I've been wanting to make an LED desk lamp for quite a while now, and I really wanted something that was very simple, yet elegant, uh, but where the wood was really in focus. So this is made with maple, and you operate it with a remote control that just attaches to the back. Uh, so yeah, let's get building. So uh, I started off with this pretty big block of maple. First, I needed to make sure it was square, so using a smoothing plane here to joint the edges to make it easier to go on the table saw. And checking with a level and doing some more planing. Then out to the table saw to do some resawing. Since this wood is really hard and dense, I'm cutting it a little at a time here. And uh, there's a nice piece of stock. And I'm going to let the wood relax for a couple of hours. So this is kind of what I'm thinking about for this project. The wood sitting kind of at an angle uh, in the base, with the lamp part sitting perpendicular to the back. Then the lamp part will be covered in strip lights. When I had my measurements drawn up, I went outside to do some sanding before cutting the pieces to size. And I'm just cross-cutting these parts on the miter saw. Now let's move on to the lights. So I have this LED strip here, and you can cut them every three lights on the copper section. So for this design, I need six lights on each cut and a total of 13 strips. Then you uh, simply peel off the back and stick the strip to the wood. And uh, it adheres pretty well to unfinished wood. Then making sure each strip is well attached. And here I'm just tinning each of the contacts on the positives on one side and the negatives on the other. Then I got a piece of wire here and I'm stripping it to remove the installation. And I'm attaching it with hot glue on each side. Then I'm tinning the wires and cutting up small little pieces of wire here to connect to the contacts. Then uh, soldering each wire to each tin contact, which means all the positives on one side and all the negatives on another. I'm using a new soldering iron here, and this one is so much better than my old one. It's definitely one of those things I wish I had upgraded sooner. And uh, I'll put links in the description to the products I used here too. So let's see if this works. And uh, it does. With the variable power supply here, I can see how much light it gives at different currents, which is kind of cool. Okay, so we're done with that part. Now let's get to work on the wood. So I need to cut a dado in the base, so the back can sit inside it at an angle. I also need a dado in the back, so the light part can sit inside it straight. So I'm starting with cutting a dado on the back piece of the lamp. And I'm simply taking repetitive cuts on the table saw here. I'm uh, creeping up on my marks to make sure I get a tight fit. Next, I'm doing the same thing but at a 22 degree angle for the base. And this matches the 22 degree bevel cut I made on the bottom of the back piece so that it fits tight. And uh, this is what it would look like all together. Then I'm cleaning up those cuts here with a chisel. Now I'm going to run a wire down from the light, so drilling a hole here so I can get it to the back side. Now the wire will run down a groove in the back piece, so that's what I'm cutting now on the table saw. Just making a very shallow groove with a few light passes. then sanding the pieces a little. Now let's work on the base a little. So I'm drilling a hole in the side here, and that's where I want the plug to fit. 
On the underside of the piece I'm drilling a large hole with a force rivet, and that's where the wires will be connected from the plug to the lights. Then I also need to drill a hole on the base here so the wire coming down the back can reach to the underside of the lamp. And I made enough room to get the plug in from the underside to the side. And here are all the pieces now. The base, the back piece, and the light. Time to assemble. So making sure I'm getting the wire through and then gluing the pieces together. And a little gentle tapping to get it in place. Now to give the base a little weight, I decided to drill another hole here. And I've got some lead. I'm just hot gluing this in place. So I used this because I already had some lead on hand. However, you could definitely use BBs or any other type of weight just to make sure the lamp is a little more stable. Okay, so time to connect the wiring. So I have the wire coming up through the back piece. So I split it off and uh, I'm soldering the positive to the positive side and the negative to the negative side. And hot gluing the wires into the back. Then attaching the plug into the side here with some hot glue and then soldering together these wires. And uh, I'm using some heat shrink here to protect the wires. Since I have the room, I decided to add an additional piece of lead, because um, you can't go wrong with a little extra weight. So, almost done. A little fine sanding, and uh, then I'm putting on a coat of my Tang Oil Wax Polish. To uh, make it nice and smooth and uh, bring out the color a little. And uh, to really finish this piece off, I'm cutting up a piece of black fabric for the base, and I'm simply hot gluing that in place as well. And that way it'll be nice and protected and soft on a table as well. Also, these lights are operated with a small remote control, so I'm gluing on a piece of velcro on the back here. And another piece on the back of the remote. And uh, that way I'll always know where it is. Lighting projects are really one of my favorite. They're really fun to work with and you can come up with so many different designs. Um, here I really wanted uh, like an angle where the light was up a little bit and that's so it could cast a light on the table or whatever you're working on. So of course you can make a desk lamp or a task lamp in lots of different ways, you know, using different designs. And I have a couple of other ideas that I want to work on. Um, but one thing they all have in common uh, are these strip lights, which are really interesting. I really like working with them because they're really flexible. You can even, you know, you can cut them in different configurations. You can even bend them like around like a, a bell uh, if you want to do that. So this is a prototype for my desk. And I actually chose to leave the wires and the solder here exposed and part of that is because I really kind of like the way it looks it looks kind of cool and I really like that you can see uh, the, the individual lights however I am thinking about making another project where I hide these and kind of make them like with a lip over and almost make a panel where you kind of cover it with a frosted glass and make multiple panels to put in different ways and that's just another way to use these lights and of course you can never have too many lights and they're really fun to make. Not to mention cheap. I mean, if you buy something like this in a store, they can be really expensive. However, I mean, the, the, the light strip and the remote chair is like $12. And you can make more lights with that amount. And, and another thing that I think is kind of cool is that you could make several lights, uh, you know, in a room. And as long as they are close to each other, you can control them all with the same remote control. Uh, so that's kind of neat. And also, I mean, this lamp here is, this remote here is controlled through this white cord here. But you don't have to use that. You can take that out and plug the plug in directly. And then you have like, you can turn it on or off through there. But of course the remote is kind of nice. And it allows you to dim. And then I also added some Velcro to the back of the remote. Uh, and to the back of the lamp and that's just so it has somewhere to go uh, so hopefully I won't lose it. 
I also want to really thank my patrons uh, for supporting my work and this should look pretty familiar to some of you because I talked about this project in my latest uh, Patreon vlog that I put out every week. And uh, yeah, I'll put a link in the description to my Patreon campaign if you're interested in checking that out as well. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, if you uh, aren't subscribed already. And otherwise, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.